All right, boys, we've got the German BF-109. And this is good only at air-to-air -air combat, let's be honest. So we're going to see if we can claim air superiority over the whole map. We've got two enemy Spitfires. Spitfires are way more maneuverable than BF-109s. So let's see if we can actually turn the tide of this. Ooh, wrecked his wings up. Hopefully that helps. They're much more maneuverable and should, with a better, you know, with a decent pilot in the hands of that Spitfire, or, if, you know, the other way around, <laughs> uh, then I should lose. And it looks like I've lost him, so I'm probably, I'm probably going to lose his little dogfight. <laughs> There's a much lower ceiling, you know, max height limit in this game. So if you get quite high up, it stalls you and, and you lose a lot of speed. And it's going to be really bad in a dogfight for you to do that. They're encouraging low altitude, high paced gameplay, you know, just a horizontal gameplay at a low altitude. That's what they're encouraging. A bit like the movie Dunkirk is what it reminds me of. How that, you know, in that movie, it felt very fast paced at a low altitude, just like this. There's not much vertical movement. And I'm hearing an enemy Spitfire on my six, taking out the enemy. Let's turn. Oh my god. If we don't turn real quick, we're in trouble. Woohoo! He's right on us. What options do we have? I forget what my... I've got a speed boost. That could help. Let's let's kick it in. Let's kick it in. Go up. And then down. Because if you try and go up without a speed boost, you're likely to stall, I think. He's right on me, dude. He's crashed. He's crashed. <laughs> That's him in the kill log. Oh, yes, baby. We won the fight by default. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, where... Alright, I think we've got S priority. No, that's a plane over there. What's going on over there? Why is he all the way over there? What's this? What are you doing, buddy? Oh, no, that's a Stuka. That's a German Stuka. That's an air-to-ground vehicle. Um, so... Yeah, we've got S priority now. Maybe we can get a cheeky ground kill with this vehicle, which seems unlikely. I do see someone down there. Oh, I've got an enemy suppressed, which is basically no damage, just suppression. Oh, what's that? That, my friends, is an enemy bomber. British bomber. We should be able to take him out. He's got a decent back seat that can really harass me at any angle if I leave him unchallenged. And not just that, we are going after air superiority here. Where's he gone? Oh, he's right here. <laughs> Hello, buddy. His back seat can really hurt me. Like, look, the back seat's on me. Whoa! Jeez, he pulled back on the throttle there, didn't he? Oh, and a, and, a, and a Spitfire. We're in trouble, boys. We are really in trouble. Enemy Spitfire and a backseat bomber. Bomber backseat's on me. That's the Spitfire or the Stuka? No, that's a Stuka. That's my team. Where's the Spitfire? Let's ignore the problem until it goes away. Go after the bomber for a bit. I'm at half health. I should really get some repairs in, to be honest. Hey, where's this guy gone? The Stuka. What are you looking at, Stuka? Oh, you're looking at the Spitfire, are you? <laughs> okay, I'll come and help. Spitfire getting challenged by the Stuka. Oh, the Stuka's got the kill. Well played. Wingman. Well played. So that's the bomber, then. There's only two planes per team. So, by rules of elimination, that has to be the enemy bomber. He keeps pulling back on the throttle, this pilot, on the bomber. Every time he's getting hit, he's pulling back. I don't know if it's wise. Maybe it's wise. But let's uh, pull away, get some distance between us, and then close the distance. Hard to see at range in first person. Look at that. Pull him back on the throttle again. Yes! <laughs> See you later, buddy. We own the skies, baby. Do you know what? Force of habit makes me not move while repairing, but in this game, you can move while repairing, so. <laughs> Gotta remember you can move. Oh, get the magic, magic circle. Get my ammo and my repairs. So if you don't know already, many of you will. Your max health 
it gets lower and lower with damage until you pass through those magical circles. Right, enemy Spitfire. Oh, he's turning. He's turning in. Oh, he's crashed. Look at the kill log. He's just crashed in the sea again. Come on, dude. What are you doing? It's really hard to find ground targets in this game. Without the 3D spotting, it's just really hard. Hello, Spitfire. Let's get on a six. I think he knows I'm on him. Mm, there you are. Oh, that's the Stuka. Where, where'd the Spitfire go? There he is. I swear, dice were... Oh yeah, 23 damage already. Yes! <laughs> that felt good. I swear dice were inspired by the movie Dunkirk, because this, this dogfighting gameplay really reminds me of that movie. I don't know what it is, I can't put my finger on exactly what it is about it that does that for me. That is a bummer. A British bummer. He's mine. And he's also been chased by the Stuka on our team. Oh! Oh, take my hits! Just take my hits! <laughs> Triple kill! Nice! I like it. Alright, we've got air superiority once again. Let's keep the skies clear, baby. Although, what's the point? <laughs> Let me tell you why, guys. I say, what is the point? Because we've got... Okay, he's got the variant of the Spitfire, this guy. That is very good at air-to-air -air combat. I can tell because it's got the four different bullet vectors. Which means, it's, you know, he's got the four mounted machine guns at the front. Which is very good at air-to-air. -air. There's only one variant of the Spitfire that has that. So he means business, this guy. He's here for some air-to-air -air combat. Where are you, buddy? There you are. If he was a good pilot, I would lose. I'll tell you that right now. Because it's so much more maneuverable. What's on my six? He's not... He's not even half damage. I mean, harassed, I think, by a bomber. And I've lost. Kicking in the speed boost here, because I'm losing... I'm stalling for some reason. That's a Stuka. I, damn it! <laughs> the German Stuka always makes me think it's the enemy. There we go. He's got half health. Oh, get back in range, dude. Oh, he's bailed! He's bailed! Vehicle destroyed, though. I'll take it. Now, where's that other plane in the sky? Where are you, buddy? That's the Stuka. He's after someone. It's got to be the plane. This is Stuka. Why? That's an air ground vehicle. Why is he always going after planes? He needs to go after forces on the ground. <laughs> I've stolen it. I've stolen it from him. <laughs> sorry, buddy. I'm not really sorry. I'm a thief. Um, let's see if we can get a ground kill. So hard to find an enemy. There we go. Oh, oh I got an enemy direct hit. Only 26 damage. This vehicle is just no good at air to ground. Absolutely no good. Oh, there it is again. My friendly Spitfire. Hey, I'm on a seven kill streak. Sweet, dude. Where are you, dude? I know you want me. Is that you? Yep, that's you. Oh, I'm trying to lead the shot at range. It's a bit difficult, a bit challenging, but I managed to do it. And there's a British bomber in the air. 
which is a good sign because then I can not worry about this guy having a wingman harassing me. I've lost him though, completely lost him. Harder to track your foes in this game compared to Battlefield 1. Hey, where's he gone, man? There he is, there he is. Don't tell me that's a Stuka decoy again. No, it's him. No, don't crash into me. I don't I don't want a mid-air collision. I want to keep the kill streak going. Kick in the speed boost, sort of climb. See if that helps with the situation. Oh man, he's definitely on me. He is on me and I feel like I'm going very slowly right now. He's uh, he's gonna kill me, dude. Get my speed boost. I've just kicked in my speed boost. Now I'm being harassed by the bomber backseat. Oh my god. Oh, I'm in so much trouble. I'm in so much trouble. I'm getting hit by so many different vectors. There he is, there he is. He's pulling away. Get my repair. Yeah. Kicking the speed boost. He's right behind me. Kicking the speed boost. God damn, this is a tough dog fight. He's right on me again. He's okay. So remember what I said earlier about better pilots with the Spitfire will win these fights. That's, I guess, what we're seeing in action right now. Oh, he's really getting me. <laughs> oh, the pressure. What can I do? Hey, how come he's not on me anymore? He's just, is there three planes in the enemy team? There we go. I, I don't know how I've turned this around. I don't know why. He must have lost me. I don't know how I turned it around, but I'm a happy man right now. <laughs> yes. Oh, yes. And there's the bomber. Come on, the game's almost over. I want this. I really want this. Uh, GG boys, GG. We managed to get an 8 kill streak and that was it. But we kept the skies somewhat clear. I'd say somewhat because, man, I was being harassed in a long duration dogfight right there at the end. That Spitfire, he was on me the whole time. It was so hard to get away. But you can see how the emergency repair and the speed boost really comes in handy. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed the video. What do you guys think of this game? What do you think of the dogfighting in this game, guys? Look at that, there's a skier. What's he doing? He's skiing! <laughs> he's trapped. He's a huge skier. There he is, look. He's the same size as a tree. He's huge. Is he supposed to be stuck? He's probably supposed to be moving down the hill. Poor guy, he's just trying to...